Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, who is here today? Hi, Byron. Hi, Byron. Debra, welcome to our weekly Tuesday cooking lunch break. I'm here with Amber of Sweet Ems. I'm Hanya Panyolas, if you didn't know. Hi, Carrie. Kathy, hi, Sally. Oh, that's wonderful, sunny Manhattan. So, guys, how was uh, Halloween? Let us know. Did you, did you go out? What did you do for Halloween? I took yeah. the kids trick or treating last night. And they so loved it. Did you get any good candy? Um. Well, they. I mean, you know, they get a lot of like fruity candy, which I don't like. So I always take what the chocolate. What do you mean fruity candy? Like Skittles, lollipops, oh. um, like Starburst, like you know, chewy, yeah. fruity things, which I'm not into. Um, but I, you know, I take their Twix and their Snickers and their Kit Kat. <laughs> there is a new Kit Kat, no? New type, new new flavor, I think I saw. Oh, thank you, Sandra. That's awesome. Um, they're always coming out with new flavors. There's so many different flavors now. We just well, had like an apple cinnamon. Been getting, um, apple cinnamon? Oh. That sounds lovely. Have you been uh, getting any uh, photos of your book for your, you know, you, you're running the... Oh, well, the pin is over because... It's over. Um, it was a Halloween pin, so... Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. oh, but I did send I did send them out. I think... Um, oh, hello. Like, got hello. One. Hola. Hello, hello. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be in a hot seat and... Um, those of you who follow me on um, Instagram, uh, you probably saw I posted a picture of a heart upside down. So I'm going to redo a tutorial uh, that I did, I think, um, nine years ago. Wow. <laughs> it was fun. It was, it was really time. It was very, very rusty. So let me bring up my, uh, my camera. And also, I'm going to be using some templates today. So... Amber is going to pop the uh, links in the comments when I uh, when I show the templates so you guys can check those out. Hello, hello. Hi, June, Lisa. All right, so let's bring up the camera. Let's do the camera this. All right. So this is the cutter that I used for today's cookies. Um, it's a larger cutter of two um, from a Wilton kit. Wilton kit, Wilton um, 101 cutter set. I use this set. You see the, oh, actually there are, there are three of the same shape. So I use the largest one for this project. And um, let's see. So first we're going to, you're going to have to ice the cookie. So I'm going to just use 15 second consistency real icing. And um, What's really, I think with the first tutorial I did nine years ago, I did some airbrushing. So I'm not gonna do any airbrushing today. I optioned not to do that. If you want to airbrush, you can, but um, you can look up my tutorial on YouTube on how to do, we're going to do princess carriage. I know it doesn't look like it now. I'm gonna <laughs> turn it upside down. So that's where the um, wheels are gonna be. And this, um... The 101 cutter set is available in your beginner bundle, right? Oh, yes, that's true. Thank you. Thank you for reminding. Yes, it is available in the beginner bundle uh, from our beginner cookie decorating uh, toolbox. So it's uh, actually I combine number one, number two. And um, yeah, you can use those bundles to create all different kinds of cookies. And with Marlin of Hunter Confections, we'll, we've been sharing different tutorials using these bundles. So when you order um, these, you can be certain that you can make more cookies than just one. You know, one. So we're we're gonna share different ideas with you also throughout the holidays. We already have a few things planned. Hello, hello. Oh, you re you remember this? Do you want me to share the, um, what's it called? The box, the, the monthly box? Let's just run this. This is, I'm just gonna flood this. This is a, uh, it's a, a little pre-recorded video just so you guys can uh, see, you know, I flooded the cookies. And if you, if 
you notice any kind of buffles in, in your icing, you can add more icing there and just uh, use a scribe to smooth it. This is a larger cookie, so I find using a scribe that is a bit thicker, or you could even use a palette knife, it helps to smooth the icing faster, as opposed to using a super fine um, scribe. Those are really great for fine details, but when you're trying to move a large mass of icing, it's just easier to use a larger um, tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so another um, alternative that I wanted to show you um, with the airbrush, I created grass and clouds. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can do it with wet on wet. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you have, we have to run it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, all right, let me stop this and I'm going to bring up this screen here. And we are getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Find something new here, so bear with me. All right, so um, here we are. So I, I flooded everything with blue, and now I'm adding the clouds, okay? If you had an airbrush, you could do white base and then use cloud airbrush with blue airbrush color. And then um, I'm going to do green grass on the bottom, okay? So this is just for those of you who don't have an airbrush but you want to, um, you know, do this design. Now, at the end, I'll show you both designs because I did two. One on is, one is on the white background, and the other one is obviously on the clouds and the, and the grass. Um, so you can tell me which one you prefer better. Hello. And now you can switch to green. And both of them see the same flat consistency, about 15 second consistency. This way, the icing is going to sink in the base layer. Otherwise, it's going to sit on it. And you also have to move fairly quickly when you're doing these wet on wet designs. Mm -hmm. Maybe even um, you know uh, go as low as uh, 10 seconds, but don't go lower lower than that because then you can um, experience some cratering if you yeah if you do lower count. Thank you. Thank you. You yes, so I have supplies for today's video in the, in the comments. You guys can check it out. Byron wants to know if you're excited about my nutcracker cookies. Are you making nutcracker cookies? Well, it's on the list, and Byron remi has reminded me. It's been on my list as well, <laughs> but I keep forgetting. Do you have a cutter? I'll just cut, I'll just figure, you know, maybe I'll do it on a plaque or I'll cut it by hand. I have a small, I think I have a small cutter, but not a big, a big cutter. So um, I'm glad you like, you're liking the clouds. They're really yeah, easy so to make. Cute. So you can, you can kind of construct those with dots. So super fun and really easy to do. So this is the base for the, for the princess carriage. Okay. So once you are done, yeah, you see, I'm I'm just making sure that all the grass is um, sinked into the base. Now this is a template that is available in my coffee shop. I created this template, and um, the way it works, I'm using a marker here. You can also use a scribe, but I wanted you to see uh, the outlines. With the scribe, it's um, it's very subtle and it's very hard sometimes to see. I'm using gray marker from uh, rainbow dust. And you see those holes there? So that's because my icing wasn't completely dry. Mm -hmm. So that's why it, when you're trying to draw on uh, icing, it's really important that the icing is fully dry. In this case, it's not gonna matter because we're gonna cover it with icing. Oh, another hole there. So if you don't have a carriage, or for example, if you want to ship these, you can definitely ship a heart shape. But I've seen some of the cutters for the princess carriage, like they are, they can be troublesome when you're trying to ship them, you know? Mm -hmm. So the um, heart works really well for this. And this is just another little template. And if you have a projector, obviously you could use a projector. I don't use a projector. So um, I'm just going to do this with a template okay and now uh, we're going to start so this with, is just you can do it on the hmm? go ahead you can do it on the 
with a sky background or a white background yeah, or whatever. So you guys tell me which one do you prefer? I think really it was honestly uh, so sure, so like certain that I'm gonna love the the blue background, but when I finish the white background, I just I think I prefer it better because it just pop, like it pops. It, it's not not that it's not nice on the blue with the clouds, but I just think it's maybe a little disturbing. Mm -hmm. so not like uh, too busy, I mean. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about 20 second consistency icing here. And I'm going to now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pipe a thin line in the middle here. This is to help uh, prevent um, cratering or like caving or like these dimples sometimes because this is such a narrow area. Um, it's helpful to um, add these lines. And maybe somebody can help us with this one. Um, I understand the first part. And I understand the last part. Okay, great. All right. So I love your tutorial. <laughs> and what's the second part? Well, uh, oh, no. I just understand the, the last word. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I, I let that press. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another layer on top of the first layer. This is to make sure that my puffy icing is not going to um, kind of overflow to the next, to the second, to the section next to it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sally. How thick oh, is the cookie? It's quarter inch thick. Okay, a quarter I do, inch. Um, I used to do thicker cookies. Now I do quarter inch. Okay. And after this, we're going to flood the outer sections. And you can see I'm really squeezing the bag adding a nice layer of icing in there. And this is, um, um, now the kit, the, the beginner cookie decorating kit, a number three has a red food coloring. Uh, so you can use that to make pink, or if you have pink food coloring, you can use that. I did mute it slightly with a little bit of, uh, you can use ivory or brown, mm -hmm. just a touch. This is such a pretty color. It really is, isn't it? Um, okay, let's see. Now, when you are using the the um, support line, make sure that after you ice the cookie, you don't go too deep with your scribe, okay? Because that line, it can just get dislodged and it can like surface in your icing, okay? So let it crust for about 10 minutes and then we, you can fill in this section here. Heather says it needs glitter. Oh, it needs glitter, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. I actually did forget one uh, one uh, thing. I wanted to add um, little stars, you know, with white icing in it, but on what? But I forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't add any glitter. We'll have some gold, which I think Amber will appreciate. Yeah. Did you let that outside? Yes, I did. Dry a little bit. I did it for about ten minutes or so. Oh, you guys really are, lo are loving the glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Shame on me. I didn't put any. <laughs> All right. So now we can do the, I don't know what this would be called, a door, I guess. Yeah. Um, like an edible. I have um, edible um, jewel dust, which would be great because I have pink jewel dust. You could also, after, you could also paint the pink um, cabin with um, luster dust, pink luster dust, or just uh, pearl luster dust if you want some mm -hmm. people's glitter. Okay, oh my goodness, yes, I'm gonna, I feel bad now. Welcome, no, Sharon. So these are gonna be, um, what are these called? These curtains, I guess? So mm -hmm. I describe here, I scratch the surface a little bit um, to give me an outline. And now I'm using darker pink here. And this is also about 20 seconds, but I'm also going to add little lines in the middle just to help prevent that cratering that can happen. And then let that crust for about, I would say five minutes or so, and then you can go in and flood this. Hello, 
Hello, Katie. So now we are officially in, you know, it's November 1st. We are officially in the fall. Leaves are falling down. And mm -hmm. um, have you have you had a lot of leaves uh, falling down? Yeah, already? yeah oh, and there's yeah. still a lot more to go. We're probably about halfway through. Yeah. And I well, guess you don't get that really where you are, right? No, no, not, not really. We do have, uh, there is a lot of evergreens here. So uh, lots of needles every, everywhere. But that's throughout the year, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, okay. Glitter, 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 glitter. Um, I'm going to do some glitter next time, I think. Mm -hmm. and, um, overdo it. All right, so now I'm going to take this off. And uh, I think it's safe to say that I've got my cookie here. Okay, let me bring up the... All right. Hi, Glenn. So we finished uh, decorating um, at this stage. Okay, so there's no glitter. Sorry, guys. I apologize. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. I really, I, I really left the really hard part uh, for the live. I think um, doing the wheels live is going to be interesting. So I don't know if you can see the circles I've got here with the marker. It's barely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Hello, Utah. Hello, Brazil. <laughs> Hi, Gwen. So now I have here, um, this is a number two piping, piping tip that I've got here. Okay, and I have a couple of here because I'm going to switch uh, my piping tip for PME, PME 105, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll do the spindles with a finer, um, finer line, okay? Oops. Hello, Sandra and Stephanie, Angie. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm glad. Angie got a pin. Oh, awesome. Fabiola. Yeah, so even if you don't pipe a perfect circle, you can always use the brush. Yes, I. what happened, I squeezed, um, there was a bit of a excess squeeze from me, so more I think came out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Hello. Hola. So when I'm coming to the end, I'm actually stopping with the pressure. Oops. Oh no. You actually leaned on my. Karen's asking what my girls' costumes were. Um, so okay. the all of the older one was Sophia the first, and the little one, Sydney, was Spider-Man. And she has this little, like, it has fake muscles on it. <laughs> I did. So it's just, like, the funniest thing. Oh, it's so cute, though. It's so cute. <laughs> no, the brush wasn't really damp, damp. It wasn't, it was pretty dry. I would be afraid that um, if it was, like, you can use a damp brush. Do you use a damp brush when you do it? When you do little adjustments? Not or? for not for adjusting, no. Yeah, I, I find dry like work better. That if it's like a, if it's a little drop, then it will like create a pool. Yeah. There and then the icing will kind of just, um, you know not look good. Today is Mars Day off. We have a schedule where we're just doing two at a time now, and then one of us gets a day off. So now I'm doing, this is totally optional, or maybe I should just skip it. <laughs> um, this is another layer. If you are, um, you know, if you are in the need of um, uh, 
headache, <laughs> you can do another layer of white here, you know, like, you know, the, the tires on the, how they have sometimes white or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you could do the white or you can just skip it. I'm going to try to do it. Although it's very hard for me to see anything at this point, like I can't see. Quite dark here. This is a detail that you really don't have to do, but mm -hmm. it's I added it on the others, so I'm gonna do it. But it's like it's the little details that make it really special. Did you wear a costume, by the way? I didn't ask. No, I didn't. <laughs> Susan says she also has trouble seeing and doing the tiny details. Oh, it's uh, Susan. It's because I um, everybody was telling me when I um, when I get into the forties that uh, my eyesight will. You know, mm -hmm. now I'm like, what is it? like? <laughs> yeah. so now my husband was always, oh, can you read this for me? Can you read this for me? And he comes now. I'm like. I can't see either. What is that? <laughs> so it's like we are both like in a store, like looking at yeah mm -hmm. the labels. Do you do, are you feeling it? Yeah, starting to. Hello, Judy. Hello, Judy. Um, Kathy wants to know if you have trick or treaters where you are. Did you no. do you have people coming up to the house? No, no, there are no trick or treaters here. I don't mm -hmm. think we. Treat the trick or treating is um, big here. Um, I, I I don't think it's actually uh, a thing here. They do dress up for Halloween, mm -hmm. um, and there are like Halloween parties, and I've seen a lot of Halloween decorations and all that. There's a, uh, you cannot com compare the candy um, selection compared <laughs> to the states, you know, for Halloween. Like it's yeah. like. Um, here, yeah, it's not really a thing. But the kids, they do dress up. I've seen kids in the street, they they dressed up for Halloween and even adults. So I That's think they're going, yeah. going, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving, nothing too exciting. We'll just, we're going to host it this year at my house. It'll be small. Do you still do anything for Thanksgiving? Us? Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, yeah, we just, yeah, no, we don't have a turkey or anything. We just kind of, yeah, couch potatoes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to, see, I switched to 105 here. So I'm going to do uh, singles. You mean 1.5, right? What did I say? 105. I think you said 105. Oh, 1.5. There is 1. no 1.5. Sorry. 1.5. It's a great writing tip. PME. These are seamless tips. They are more expensive. I'm sure those of you who have uh, been watching us, we say that a lot, how expensive they are. Mm -hmm. um, now I think they are um, like six. Uh, Six dollars. Oh, Lady Blue. Hello. Oh no, Lady, Lady Blue. Hello, Mexico. Hello, Denise. Well, uh, I'm in Spain. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I'm okay. It's complicated. So uh, <laughs> I'm from Slovakia. I lived in the United States for twenty years, and two years ago we moved to Spain. So there, there I go. <laughs> Where are you? 
I am in upstate New York. Where it's beautiful around this time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I've been there with Marlon, um, actually, I think six years ago. Yeah. Lisa. Hello, Boston. Oh, thank you, Allison. Oops, a little boo-boo here. Okay, so now uh, about that glitter you, everybody was um, suggesting. So let's see if I can, um, I can do something about that. All right, so I, again, for a little detail, I made, uh, you know, like two cups of uh, um, icing here. So this is a stick. Hi, Petra. Um, or I should say, ahoy, Petra. <laughs> so I'm going to see. Okay, this is good. So I covered my icing with ivory. Hopefully it's not going to burst on me. And I'm just going to do a... We should do a gingerbread house. Yes, uh, I don't understand the question, Denise. How I think the question is warping, warp, not to not oh. warp, right, Denise? You mean warp to not warp? Because uh, that's a problem. Well, you could. Um, you mean as you are decorate? You mean after you decorate? Yeah, because sometimes like. If you leave, if you decorate the sides and then leave them out, they could warp. Or even if you leave them out undecorated, they tend to warp. Well, then maybe um, <clears throat> maybe we can weight them out, weight them down. Mm. Oh, I love the shell border. Oh, hello, Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin is so cold. <laughs> yeah. In the time. We had uh, some friends, they were from Wisconsin, and um, they moved, we met them when we were living in Pennsylvania. I remember there was a uh, football or something in Wisconsin, and they went and it was, they said they were freezing. It was so, so cold. So now what I did, um, I'm, I went um, in this direction here, and now from here I'm going to go opposite direction. Um. Marlin visited you over the summer, and you did you post anything in your stories about that with your? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe there is um, uh, maybe there is a highlight. I don't remember, um, but yeah, we had a wonderful time. We were here with Marlin's husband for about a week, and um, it, was, um, it was amazing. Okay, so. Um, you have to let that dry, and as Amber will tell you, these um, they um, they dry pretty quickly because it's um, stiffer icing. I'm also going to switch my piping tip for number. This is number four, and that's also included in the cookie decorating beginner toolbox number one. Yeah. So sand dry uses. Oh, yeah. This was a start in number sixteen, Kathy. Okay. 16. All right, see that. All right, so when waiting to decorate, I put parchment, then another sheet pan to keep them flat. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, and then Denise said when you bake them. So do you mean like they're not oh, keeping they them? Oh, they when you bake them. them. Spreading, or are they actually like? Are they, are they actually changing like? Uh, are they like? Are, twins, you know, like are they like spreading, or are they like? I do. Um, I would suggest investing in the um, the per, uh, perforated mats. I find yes. that the, the the cookie it tends to stick to it a little bit, like it, right? Like yeah, because of the I think the texture mm -hmm. that it sticks to it a little bit. So I haven't had problems with um, cook my cookies and gingerbread pieces um, um, going out of shape or warping during the baking. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. But I would, I um, if you could always like I, I like use a baking sheet, I guess, and um, wait mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now um, just gonna yeah. If you have, if you have any leftover pumpkin transfers from Halloween, 
you could use the, the those for this project. Everybody loves this carriage. It's so pretty. I love that. What a nice little detail. Thank you. It might just be, I mean, a lot of it could have to do with the recipe. Um, you know, some cookie recipes spread more than others. And depending on, um, you know, the environment where you live, it could cause spreading or your ingredients. Han, I know you have a construction gingerbread recipe on your website, right? Yes. yes. Um, I'm just going to grab that. Right? Um, what I also find is uh, it's, um, I recently have baked, um, I baked a lot of gingerbread and um, that tells you I have lots of gingerbread uh, projects uh, prepared. And um, I decorated and I uh, didn't have time to do anything for weeks and weeks and it started to blowing and um, yes but then i brought it uh, i i had it in a really cold room so maybe it was very dry there so i brought mm -hmm. it back to the studio and it seems to like be okay now the only thing is like if it's really like a bowl you know and then it uh, it you put you somehow get it into the shape and it was iced the icing is gonna crack right Right, so um, that's that's like something that you can't really. But my recipe, I barely have that problem, honestly. Like, uh, and in the baking, it doesn't really, it doesn't doesn't uh, like change the shape. So um, I have one here that I did earlier. You see the um, the ivory is slightly darker here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some shine to it. You know. Yay. No glitter, but um, this is pretty um, lustrous, I think. So this is a brand called uh, Sugar Flare. It's very, very shiny. Oh, actually, I don't need to add anything. I, I have enough there. Uh, what I'm going to do now, this is dry, okay, but it's okay because um, I'll show you what it does. When it dries up, it again, it's powder, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't waste it, okay? If you use, if you are using this, this this is like you know it's so expensive little bottle it's like seven dollars yeah okay? so uh, don't waste it Once hi Maria time. enjoy your lunch hi, Maria. where do we get our ideas from oh I don't uh, well this idea is about ten years old so it's very cold <laughs> um, I actually, I'm planning on doing, I have, a, I bought a um, um, tissue box. I have tissues, obviously. And um, it's so beautiful outside. Like there's like a lot of uh, like florals and butterflies. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to use that as inspiration for uh, some of the cookies. And yeah, inspiration is everywhere. I think, everywhere right? in a tissue so, box. So your, your recent um, um, spider cookie. Yeah, came from what was it exactly? My daughter's ring, that purple ring. So, and you used it to make your um, your spider cookies, right? Yeah. When you usually go ahead. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, the, the construction, they are fully edible, yes, but they are very hard. But I've had people eating them, and I, um, I'm i always, like, worried because I add, like, so much spice in it. Like, it's got to be, like, I add, <laughs> pepper, I, you know, I add so much cinnamon and ginger. The reason I, I do that is I want them to smell so good. Right. That when you have them in a house and you mm -hmm. walk by, you, you can, like, oh. It like lingers throughout the house. Yeah. It also deters the bugs. So if you want to mm -hmm, have mm -hmm. them play for longer, you know, like ants and stuff, um, it helps with that. It is fully edible. I mean, uh, I, there's nothing wrong with it. But and I've had people eating it. It's, oh, it's so yummy. I'm like, wow. It's so, okay. <laughs> but I have other recipes that you could also adjust the amount of spices. 
and just you know have that and eat it but it dries uh, it bakes pretty firm i have to say hard and i like to um bake it until it's like firm because if you're making a panels baking panels you want these to be sturdy and if they are large panels yeah it's really important that they can support the weight of the house mm -hmm. in humid um i've heard that a lot of people will ice both sides like when wow. it's humid, so the the icing it's like a um insulation so mm -hmm. it prevents moisture getting into the cookie yeah and it's still you know stable that's a good idea so i wonder am i forgiven because no glitter well you've got the gold so i forgive you okay thank you <laughs> This is really so pretty. And are you going to show us one with the background too, the blue background, so we can see yes. the difference? Yes, I will. I have it here. I like this gold a lot. It's um, very shiny. Oh, and I need to do the door. So I'm using Everclear. Uh, Everclear is a grain alcohol can't remember it. What is it? I can't remember the proof, but it's very like constant. You know, it's high. It's content. very yeah, very strong. We don't, drink, we don't uh, recommend drinking it, but for this, it's great because it evaporates very quickly, and also it uh, it helps with the shine of your product. Mm -hmm. And when I say quickly, remember the liquid. I mean, it was now it's just like paste, you know? Yeah. So it does evaporate very fast. Okay. So you could, I also made, um, um, here, I'm going to just quickly show you. Sometimes when I'm working, I. Um, Ooh. Yes, it does. yes, thank you, Byron. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes I, I just do different things. So what you could do, if you want to really like, you know, add a few uh, florals, you could add them with some green, you know, break up the. the the Love that, yeah. You know, you could add that, those. And um, um, roses might be, um, if you are making roses with 101, they may be a little too big and mm -hmm. they be probably fighting with the border. Yeah. So instead, you could do, um, these are kind of like wet on wet when you pick a lighter shade pink and then you swirl the um, um, darker pink in, into it. That's how you could make some uh, roses. All right, so you wanted to see the, so here is the, do you have a schedule of what you are decorating for the next few months? <laughs> I don't decide what I'm decorating until the day before the live. Well, I, I started <laughs> on this this morning, so <laughs> um, we did try, we, we really want to, wanted to or whatever uh, to do it, but sometimes it just really um, gets out of hand and we uh, we just uh, go with the flow. But yeah. definitely, I personally have definitely planned a gingerbread house and gingerbread. Um, yeah. And uh, lots of, I, I'm looking forward to Christmas this year. So hopefully lots of Christmas stuff as well, but not nothing in uh, like particular. Like, right. Like, Thing that you guys would like to see any kind of like maybe you yeah tell um, us if there's anything you want like thanksgiving and christmas i'll cover thanksgiving next week i'm on i'm gonna be on tuesday next week but so yeah if there's are, anything uh, just tell us so you've got so here are the cookies oh, so, so I mean, pretty. You, you tell me i mean um this is with the green i do i mean i do like them both this has more of a story i think mm -hmm. <laughs> like a fairy tale yeah, kind of design like or um yeah like basic basic i guess so you guys tell us tell me which one you like so white is a and the <laughs> and the blue is b i guess or whatever you want if you want to uh pop in the, the comment let us know which one do you prefer and why maybe and also, if you have suggestions for Christmas cookies, oh, mini Christmas cookies. Yay, I love that. 
I love that idea. Oh, Lisa prefers white. Thanksgiving, yes, I have done Thanksgiving few few months ago, few months ago, I, I guess, I guess in September. Few months ago. Yes. Well, the, the, <laughs> was it well in September? So it's like wow. So yeah. these were for Thanksgiving for table setting, and you can. Um, I don't have a tutorial on YouTube yet, but it's in a playlist here um, uh, in our live stream, and you can easily find playlist on Amber's YouTube channel and my YouTube channel um under videos and it's all there all the lives we have done in the past uh two and a half years so you like so the white yeah so i yes white is more elegant yes i agree i like the blue you like the blue i feel like the pink just stands out more oh. like with the contrast between the blue and the pink you know does that Last make sense um, so we have mini cookies, mini Christmas cookies, platters for Thanksgiving. And also, oh, thank you, Bobby. Very, yeah, they're really pretty. Oh, like a finished one below. Okay, that's, um, yeah, I mean, I do like it. Uh, it just, when it's airbrushed, it looks a bit different um, when you airbrush it. So you can, um, you know, but you can do it without the airbrush if you don't have an airbrush. Do you have a picture of the original cookie? Um, on my phone. <laughs> See if we can. Help, but uh, hopefully you guys think it's an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is it? Um, maybe here. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to pop it here so you guys can see. Oh, I see. So this was. Yeah, the the, I can see that like the details now are like finer, you yeah. know, like the wheels and yeah. yeah. Yes, it's 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 a different. This is 10 years old. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but it was done with airbrushing. So this is and this is a larger cookie also. And this template is available in, um, I don't know if we had a chance, oh, sorry, if we had a chance to put it in there. Um, what, which one was, I did, I, I put it in before, but I'll put it in again. I can, uh, I'm already there. You got so it, okay. It's a, it's a princess carriage template. And what's great about it, I put the JPEG for you guys. So uh, you guys can resize it to the shape of the cutter you're using. But this cutter, again, it's from the, bundle that we created with uh, Marlin and um, number uh, one and two bundles. This is a big, uh, the beginner cookie decorating toolbox. So we are, we're going to now starting November, we are going to use number three. Oh, it's that's cool. so it's and big. that's on Global Valley. That's on Global Valley. Yes. Um, I also wanted to tell you, show you yeah. um, today, I released a new tutorial. Let me bring this um let me remove this so we have to us and um i wanted to show you a new tutorial that is out on my patreon and oh how cute uh, oh my gosh it's this um that is adorable butter cookies now you can either join patreon where i put the template for the for the shape and also uh, uh, mushrooms and there is also a step-by-step -step, uh, video tutorial on how to do these. It's you a little also... buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I, I think I, I'm, I'm so obsessed. I might just buy it, you know? Yeah. Because it's a cardigan I saw online and I'm like, <sighs> you know, like, oh, adorable. Man. And um, uh, I had my little niece uh, on the phone and I was asking her, do you, do you like it? And she said, um, oh, God, now I won't remember. She, like, you know how funny they are. She said, um, I, like, oh, no, I got, uh, sorry. I won't remember how she said it. But it was really, like, funny. Like, she said, I like it, but then I don't, like, I like it the other way, whatever. Like, it was, like, one of those things, you know. Mm -hmm. thing. So this is based, this this design is based on a real, you were, we were, you were asking about inspiration. So it's based on a real sweater. Basically. So cute. I love the sweater so much, so they do have it, and I might just get it. 
Um, that just made, because Kathy was asking if we have any family reunion ideas. So like sometimes family reunions have a shirt, you know, everybody wears a shirt at the park or whatever. So you can make your cookie, the, sh the design on the shirt. If, yeah, I don't know. Yes, maybe other yes, people have better right. ideas. But. Yes, or maybe um, maybe reunion ideas could be like uh, you have, um, you know, during these reunions, people say things, the, the thing, things that you remember. Maybe somebody did something and you can incorporate the event that somebody did something funny and you could like make cookie of it or something like to make everyone. I think the purpose is to maybe have a good time, you know, and maybe yeah. it will be going laugh. So that could be a good... Yes, they are transfers, yes, and um, um, they're really easy to make and really so cute. I think they, they will be uh, also maybe on some of my Christmas cookies. Um, I guess oh. here we go. Oh, here we go, yay. Okay, let me bring up you, let me bring you up on the big screen here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's um you know if you see this in the store somewhere like if you're walking through your town and you see this in the window let me know cuz that's so exciting to me when people tell me that they found it in their local bookstore. I love that. Um I'm going to be doing a book signing here in Kingston, New York in a couple weeks. I'll post more about that soon. But yeah, this is my book Cookie Canvas. It's on the, what can I ask you what what, what What's your favorite design from a book that you really have like you you really like oh i you know you're so proud of it and just glad that it's in the book oh it's so hard to all share. your comments on the screen guys because i see a lot of great ideas but let's just uh um wait for amber to find her no you put those up because it's gonna take me a minute okay so june has an idea basic family tree with the name um Oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you, thank you. Oh, found it. So that's oh, a oh, that's box. So this is your box. So you with meringue cookies. And the meringue cookie recipe is in there, too. Oh, it is? Signature yeah. brushed embroidery. It's beautiful. Thanks. So this is this is in the box, in the box, in, the, in your beautiful book. <laughs> yes. And the templates are also there? Templates, yes. There's so many. Oh, look at this. This is... <laughs> Well, step by step, step filigree. Step by step filigree. So All the borders. This is awesome. It's like your grandmother said, right? Encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. She said it's like an encyclopedia. Yeah. So, Angie, I just did a family reunion and made the state that each family. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, wow. That's nice. Cut out of the states. Ann Clark has, I think, like every state as a cookie cutter. Oh, is there a way to get shipped, your book shipped to me that's signed? Yeah. Um, so if you go to the link, if you want to go to the link in my Instagram bio, that's probably the easiest way to get it because that will link you directly to the signed copy, which is from Talk Shop Live. And you can rewatch the demo that I did on there. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> Thanks, Byron. Always so supportive and encouraging. I love it. Okay, so, all right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. We are uh, so happy that you could join us today during our live. And uh, I will be also um, live with Marlene on Friday. Marlene is going to decorate. I'm going to join her and uh, we'll have lots of fun, I'm sure. And we, um, I think you're coming back on Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. Next week? Yeah. Yeah. So Amber is coming back Tuesday next week. I think I'm going to be sitting out that one. I think you are. Are you decorating? Yes. Yeah. So Amber is going to decorate. So don't forget to tune in. And also, oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, I don't have the link, but you can. Sign up for my newsletter. There is no link here, so I forgot. But um, hopefully you are enjoying the newsletters and getting the reminders about the lives. I uh, am going to, uh, I think, send out one on uh, Friday as well before the live. So again, thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you when we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.